Such a non-festive towel. Come in. So, any word on your son-in-law? No. No, sorry, the nun. Well, uh, dealing with a double murderer in your family right before election night, your key must be bound up tight. Oh, David, please. I'm not really in the mood for naked Tai Chi. Vicky, if this isn't the time for sexual healing, I don't know when is. Did you find out anything? No one on the day shift recognized Jared from the picture. I don't get it. Jared doesn't smoke. He doesn't collect motel swag. How did he get this if he was never here? Well, there's still a maid and a desk clerk who haven't clocked in yet. Maybe one of them will remember seeing him. I hope so. Because I feel like the longer we're apart, it's just... I feel like I'm... I'm losing him. For good. Sorry, buddy. I... I don't know exactly when your dad is going to be home. Well, can I get a ballpark? <laughs> um, he is going to be home as soon as he can. Well, where is he? You don't know, do you? I don't get it. Dad left and didn't say where he was going. Well, that is the life of a PI, kiddo. If your dad could be here with you, he totally would. And if he could tell us about the case, then he would do that too. But he's missing the Halloween party. Among other things. Um, sweetie, why don't you go to the kitchen and get the bags and start bagging the candy for the trick or treaters, okay? But save me some Kit Kats and Twizzlers. Hey, Come in. Yeah, thanks. Is uh, is Rex around? No, he's not. He he went out of town last oh. night. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, but he left. He left after the concert. Uh, actually, uh, I I, di I didn't go to the concert with Rex. Tappen, you busy? Uh, no, not really. Why? Because I need you to do me a favor. Well, not actually for me, for my kid and his squeeze. Keep your towel on. Jared hasn't even been charged with anything yet, you know. Does that mean when he is charged, you'll fall into my strong, capable... What? I'm simply offering my services. I aim to heal. Stop it, David. Look, I need to see Dorian. Is she here? Since when did Dorian become such a chick magnet? Young woman, if you expect to be a success, don't make personal shopper an oxymoron, okay? I specifically said no high heels, no sling bags. Get something like this, but perhaps a little more graceful heel. No problem. Are you really going through with this? Hello, Vicky. And hello, David. Of course, I am going through with this. I would not dream of leaving my fiancé at the altar. Excuse me. So, Vicky, what brings you to the enemy camp? I would have thought you had your hands full dealing with your various family crises. Well, actually, that's why I'm here. Brody? So good to hear your voice. By the time I got into Michigan last night, it was too late to call. How's your sister? I'll fill you in, but first I need to know how you're doing. Um, uh, well, they, they haven't found Jared yet. I know, I checked in with John. But baby, I was asking about you. What's wrong? And don't tell me nothing, I can hear it in your voice. Um, I don't know how to say this. Just say it. <laughs> I got a phone call from Nash last night. That guy's at it again? No. No, this was different. Last night, my dead husband spoke to me. Look, Charlie and Natalie are obviously very, very worried about Jared, and Jessica is apparently being stalked by somebody. Oh, no. I've lost a fingernail. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really very busy. The milliner's late. Wayne Marie has to come and do my hair. Please, please. Uh, uh, what does uh, your family crises have to do with me? 
Dorian, I am not going to be able to participate in the final debate this evening. You're standing me up? Yes. You're backing out? I think the voters know where I stand on all the key issues. Right now, I have to concentrate on my family. It's not going to work, Vicky. What isn't? You playing the tragic family card to win last-minute votes from sympathetic voters. Oh, please. So you have an alcoholic husband and a daughter with mental illness and another daughter whose husband is uh, up on murder charges. But I still have an out gay lesbian fiancé. Did she really just say that? And you know what? I am going to be the first out gay married to her partner mayor in this United States of America. Doria, did it ever occur to you that while you are using this issue in a last-ditch Hail Mary pass to get elected, mm -hmm. there are many, many people out there, good, honest, and decent people, who care passionately about their civil rights? Yeah. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Believe it. In a few short hours, I get to see you in this thing and hear you say those amazing words. To me. Yeah. I wish I was part of a real couple like you guys are. You and Dory may not be a real couple, but you are the ones the whole country is going to tune in to see. I mean, it's because of you that the whole world's going to get the chance to see what we really believe in. Yeah, yeah. You're right. And this is just the beginning. What do you need me to do? I need to drop these Halloween costumes over at Rex and Gigi's. My friend Connie made them. They are so fantastic. I am so backed up at the hair haven because of this big fat gay group wedding. You, you, wait, you want me to make a delivery to Gigi and Rex's? It's not a problem, is it? No, it's not. You have any idea where Rex was headed? Actually, no. I should, right? I mean, I usually do, but... Um, Rex and I, we've, we've been... Hey, John. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good. Mom, can you help me find the bags? Excuse me. Of course. Sorry. Uh, where were we? You were just saying something about you and uh... Right. Um, we've been having some problems lately. Um, is he in trouble? No, no. I just I wanted to talk to him about a case he was working on. No, sorry. I can't help you. He didn't tell me anything. Okay. It's good seeing you. Me too. Um, Jane looks happy. Seems like you and Rex are doing a good job with him. the activity on a credit card registered to Rex Balsam. Okay, so what do we do next if no one here has seen Jared? Uh, uh, we don't have a choice. We head home. Well, we head home. We, we can't. We can't head home yet. We haven't found him. I mean, the police think he's guilty. He is guilty. Wait, now, maybe not of murder, but Natty, you told me that he set up the beating. He was behind the stalking. Okay, yeah, but there, there was a reason for that. I mean, he was going to explain it to me, but he didn't have... He didn't get the chance. Please, Rex... Rex, we, we have to find him. Let him explain what happened so we can just figure all of this out, okay? What if there's nothing to figure out? There has to be. Because there's no way that Jared is that mean and that mad at Jessica that she, he would want her to think that Nash is haunting her from the grave. John bugged all of our phones, assuming that, that Jared would try to reach my sister. And? He got Nash's call on tape. But it couldn't have been Nash. You know that, right? No, I know. I know that Nash is dead, but John, he took the call from Nash and, and he compared it to a phone message that yeah, Nash it's okay. had just, just slow down. It was a match, Brody. Nash's voice, his actual voice was in that phone call. Brody? Hey, is that your sister? You should go. It's okay. You should go. I should never have left. I'm coming back. No. Um, um Brody, John's here. I, I gotta go. 
Jess, did you hear me? I said I'm coming back. Brody, no. Uh, come in. Yeah. Your sister needs you, okay? I I'm fine. I'll let you know if John has any news.